Jesus everyone thank you for joining before the throne of grace one more time in prayer I'm sister King today we're going to be praying for our precious health workers we know all the challenges that they are they are facing at this time especially the women who make up approximately 65 to 70 percent of our workforce in the health sector join me in prayer Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, O God, for the brave men and women, O God, who have taken up the challenge, Almighty God, to serve, O God, even during this time of a tremendous pandemic, O God, novel, O God, pandemic, O in the name of Jesus, they are, they are brave, O God, to go out there, O God, every day, O God, they are not, they can't afford to stay home, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, but they are traveling on buses, they are traveling on taxis, they are walking, O God, they have faced, O God, bias and prejudices, O God, and been scorned, O God, but they are still, O God, in the trend Oh God, caring, oh God, for the men and women and children, oh God, that come in need and care. Father God, we pray right now that they will continue, that they will endure, oh God, because the end is near. Oh God, I pray, Lord God, for them, Lord Jesus, as they wake up early in the mornings, as they do double shifts, oh God, as they are so uncomfortable wearing, oh God, a protective gear for an entire shift, oh God, they're so hot and miserable at times and still have to put their best forward oh God sometimes they're not able to take their breaks and lunch as they would like oh God we pray almighty God in the name of Jesus for them right now oh God as they rise up, oh God, hallelujah, and just, just care for your people. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray God for Minister Tufton right now. Oh God, we believe that he is doing his best and we pray, oh God, that you will touch him, that he will continue to do his best, almighty God. We pray, oh God, for our CMO, almighty God, in the name of Jesus, that you will touch her, oh God, and give her wisdom as they are looking to her as a technocrat, oh God, as an advisor them oh God in the name of Jesus we pray oh God in the name of Jesus hallelujah that you will continue to cover them oh God we know that they are scared almighty God of their families and loved ones getting the COVID if they because so many of them have gotten in infected oh God and we pray almighty God right now Jesus that you will cover them cover their mind their mental health their physical health oh God Jesus we know that they are stressed and it comes with the territory but we pray for for you to comfort them oh god because you have promised to be our comfort oh god in such a time as this father god but most importantly i pray as you are trying to talk to us as you're trying to wake us out of slumber i pray for those on the front line in the health work sector that have not yet repented of their sins they have not yet been baptized in jesus name they have not yet received the holy ghost Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that they will understand, oh God, that you're knocking at the door. And you want them to open, oh God, and to let you in. Almighty God, I pray, oh God, that they will not shake off. Almighty God, that feeling of remorse, that sense of guilt, oh God, that they live with day in and day out because they are living in sin. Father God, I pray God that they will find, oh God, hallelujah, an altar at their bedside and begin to pray, begin to cry, begin to reach out, oh God, and say, save me that like Noah, they will find grace in your eyes, oh God, and go into that ark, oh God, that name of Jesus. Jesus, that tower that will never fall, oh God, and be saved in the name of Jesus. We pray, Almighty God, that they will look to you for everything. That they will look to you, Almighty God, for grace, for salvation, for healing, for strength. 
Oh God, once again we thank you, Almighty God, for our health workers, for the minister and all the technocrats that surround him and advise him. Oh God, we pray, Almighty God, also that Minister Tufton will bow his head, oh God, and ask you to come into his heart to be saved, to wash away his sins in the name of Jesus and to be filled with the Holy Ghost with the initial evidence of speaking in tongues as your spirit gives him the utterance. We pray for his entire family. Oh God, we pray, Almighty God, for the salvation of our health workers in Jesus' name. Praise God. Thank you.